Hi folks, so this is an interesting project that was doing the rounds on the Fediverse quite some time ago. I've been meaning to make this video for a while. It's, uh, well, this blog post here sort of explains it rewriting Wipeout now. I don't know how many of you are going to remember the old PlayStation classic Wipeout. Quite a few people know about this game. When I talk about it in, you know, day-to-day -day conversation, like I'm always quite surprised how many people like look back on that game, enjoyed it, played it, know about it at least. Um, but uh, a, in 2022, the code for this was leaked. And there were a number of projects that attempted to sort of rewrite the, the game or rewrite the code or update the game, bring the game so that you could play it into to modern day uh, hardware and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is or what I'm going to demonstrate to you today is one of these examples. Now, this is very easy to play. You can actually play it just straight through the browser, which is what I'm going to do today. There are also ways that you can compile it uh, from source as well. Now, because, of course, this is leaked code and um, the developers working with leaked code, I don't think it has like a license. So it's probably not what you'd think about as open source, maybe source available, I think is the term that, that people try and use. It's available for Windows, Linux, Mac, and of course, through your browser using WebGL. So that's pretty cool. Um, I never played the game myself. I think I, I think I had a PlayStation 2, but I, did, I don't think I played Wipeout. I have played it a little bit recently, and it's a lot of fun. And it's a great thing that you could just fire up in the browser, which is great. This blog post here explains a lot about the project itself, and it's definitely worth a read. Uh, even if you're not like super technically uh, literate, literate um, it, there's a lot here. Like, you know, it talks about how it was rewritten, um, problems with the code, um, all that kind of stuff. So this is, as far as I can tell, like basically the original game. Now, there are two versions that you can actually play, uh, which I will uh, do here. Oh, no, you, you, uh, I can't. I'm already in the game here. Uh, but you can do like a minimal version without like cutscenes and music and all that kind of stuff. And then you can do like a full version. I'm only playing the minimal version at the moment, largely because I'm here for the game. Like it's, it's an interesting looking game and that's what I want to play. Also, you can check out the um, GitHub page yourself so you can have a look and it's got all the like how to build it and all that kind of stuff. So that's all pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I'll put all the links to that, of course, down in the description below, and you can check out that at your leisure. But really, what we're all here for, we're here to see the game itself. So this is it. So you can see at the top left hand corner there, there are the controls. So we've got some like old school controls, X for thrust. I am not very good at this game. I may very well end up coming in last. So just understand that. OK, so and this is the first video I've recorded for a while, so I do apologize in advance if the uh, audio levels are a little bit out, but I don't think they should be. Okay, so, start game. I don't know what the difference is. I've only ever picked Venom class. I will do a single race. Uh, this is the only ship I've used, but there are other teams. I don't know if they're any different. I'm still still playing through this game. Uh, yeah, and I played, played the first couple through. Uh, this is actually quite fun. Um, <clears throat> so this isn't the very first. Also, uh, I press A to go into third person view um, immediately. Ah. Uh, uh, and the reason for that is that, that flying the ship in third person is infinitely easier than uh, flying it. Oh, uh, first person. In fact, I can show you first person, but it's like it's kind of disorientating. I got a missile at the moment, but missiles are kind of hard. Oh, 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 got him. Ow. That's the trouble with missiles. Right. Oh, right. I'm going back into third person. Slightly less disorientating. It's fun, though. The mechanics like they flow. OK, right. Oh. Dodged a missile there. Bang. Oh, did I get him? Mm. Not sure. But yeah, like the actual, like the feel, the sort of the, the visceral feeling of actually flying the ship through the race, old as this game is, feels good. It feels frustrating when you hit the sides and it slows you down. Obviously, I think that's by design. Oh, my word. And, and the camera, especially the third person camera, like it flows nicely through what could otherwise be a disorientated map. I know that because, of course, you got this, which just doesn't feel right. Uh, but let me know if your thoughts. Would you prefer to play on the, the, the first person? I often quite like first person in... Oof, yes. Uh, I often quite like first person in a lot of racing games. But actually, you know, it can. they sometimes like have a very narrow field of view or it's just not often not practical, sometimes can be disorientating. I think it's very difficult to do a good first person uh driving racing game so i think in a lot of cases and of course so many of us brought up on kart games if not mario kart then of course super tux kart uh, which i really do love unironically i know a lot of people give it flack for it being kind of old school but it's just beautiful all the way through um and i love that the uh 
the third party plugins has sort of like maintained compatibility for like decades. Right, can I get him? Mm, missile's hard. I generally find that using the power ups as soon as you get them helps because you know you don't they don't stack or anything like that. Oh, 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 and that's the trouble with the missile. Is it like you shoot them? You have to like line up, and then yeah, uh, and then and then they like stop right in your way. You have to try to drive around them. Oh, oh. I mean, I'm in. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm in fourth. That's not bad. I'm oh. Okay, wow, spoke too soon there. Wow, spoke too soon. It's good, though. It's, it's, it feels good, even though it's, you know... I haven't tried playing it with any kind of controller or anything like that. Oh, my word. Oof. I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have that, that, that boost wouldn't have, wouldn't have done it in the end. Um, but there we go. That's like a rewrite of Wipeout. Great fun. I'll put a link to the actual game itself down in the description below. Um, but it's a wonderful old game. And um, thank you very much for watching. That's about it from me today. Uh, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Toodaloo! Oh, yeah.